Alright, hello everybody, Lovable Idiot here, and today I'm going to be playing some Willow and Stitch 2 for all today. Um, we playing a couple levels for, for you guys today, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the game. I think I'm going to go for like 10 minutes this video, because it's like it's the first time I'm going to try doing something like this, and I don't know how it's going to go, go, go over well. Um, doing, I'm going to be doing a short video because this type of content people have to like and kind of ask for if it's really going to pop off because if, if I just do it just to do it it's not really gonna you know get any traction so I'm an idiot I just realized that I can actually record gameplay of stuff through my phone, at least through like Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color and Game Boy Emulators for now. Um, I don't know how to use my capture card yet, but yeah. Um, Alright, sweet. Okay, thank you. Anyway, so I want to talk a little bit about this game for just a little bit. I found this game at, um, where did I find this game at? I found this game at a video game store, I think for like 8 bucks, because there's this like, video game store out in a town that's an hour away from me, it's like the only video game store in my area, and... I, well, sorry, a video game store that's only like an hour proximity away. Other ones would be like an hour away. I'm like, sorry, four hours away. Anyway, I don't know why that's relevant. I'm sorry. Anyway. I found this game, and I bought it, and then after I played a little bit, physically, it... This game was a stuff of the type of game only only dreams can be made out of. This game is a hidden gem, in my opinion. Obviously, not everybody is gonna think that because most people don't like licensed video games. But if you're watching this video, please give this one a try because it's really, really fantastic. If you're if you have it in your hand, like physically. You get you get you get the sense of like holy crap what is happening this just feels like a fever dream, <laughs> um, but yeah. So I'm gonna play a little bit of, of some levels for you guys today, like I said. Um, not not really gonna try to do any fancy editing. Maybe I should should because fancy editing attracts people but I don't know we'll see we'll see maybe I'll create like a thumbnail or something at least so yeah how, how I'm recording this is through a screen recorder app on my phone uh well built-in screen recorder function okay are you are you kidding me? Okay. I'll see if you don't know how I'm controlling this. I'm using my 8-bit do SN30 Pro controller, which I still have to make kind of a, somewhat of a video on. But not a video on for like Black Friday haul. Uh, I'm trying to wait for my last controller to get here for my PlayStation 5. Um I guess I decided to wait to do that instead of trying to record everything. Well, nothing, well, not everything is here, which is, eh. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this, also, this game has, like, a save battery. So, that's cool. If you, want, if you want to progress back where you left off, there's no passwords involved. Well, I'm, if that's the case, there's only, like, a battery. Is there, like, an actual physical battery in there or something. I'm not sure. 
if, if you're one of those, like, more tech-savvy people, uh, check if it has a save pattern or not. But, well, not tech-savvy, like, if you're more of a knowledgeable... Why, well, more knowledgeable Game Boy Advance expert. Check if it does, but... Like, dude, this game is, like, so good. I'm, I'm sorry for this. It's just too good. It... It honestly looks like a Super Nintendo game. Are you kidding me? You know, in my opinion. As long as some Super Nintendo levels and, like, generic platformers. Also, sorry my voice is gravelly. I, I literally just woke up. So my voice is dry. It's dry, Billy. Anyway. Okay, please. Thank you. So yeah, going trying to go forward, um, we have plan on trying to make more like gameplay videos like this. So that I'm not trying to just you know, not trying to only solely be an unboxing channel because that's not what I want to do on YouTube. I know honestly, like don't get me wrong, the unboxings are fun. I love video games monthly, love to get media, but Gameplay footage and stuff is, like, something that I really, really inspired to do. I died. Bro, I'm a god at this game. I don't die. Says every single person who, pl who plays one of their favorite video games ever. Anyway. So yeah, gonna, gonna plan on playing some Little and Stitch late. at another time. Sorry, plan on playing Little and Stitch more if people like this kind of content on my channel. Hopefully, it garners some views, and hopefully, this is the type of content people want. Oh, uh, this just gonna be a one-off. Because right now my channel obviously gains subscribers from the the unboxings and such, and that's like, so that's the type of crowd that's probably watching my videos. So, you know, I guess, I guess some of them, some of you guys, some of you sub loyal subscribers of the level lovable idiot are you kidding me bro dude let me get in let me get in there please let me get in there please are you kidding me unobtainable items great that's perfect good job trash game six one one star out of five bro trash game N unable to play trash anyway but yeah anyway most most people on my channel probably are only interested in the unboxings or whatever you know that's cool you know so hopefully you know they give it something like this a chance um my puppy just came up i can't say stuff she thinks on the internet my puppy just jumped on me he wants to love Good boy. Good boy. Anyway. But. Unobtainable fruit. How are you supposed to complete this game? Dude. Let. Me. In there. Please. For the love of God. Well, apparently there's unobtainable items in this game. Something that I didn't see originally. And for my first, uh, play session, I, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm sorry. Die, please. Thank you. Hey, 
are you stop bro stop why why am i getting stuck okay thank you for thank you for sacrificing your life for the greater good thank you thank you okay All right, I'm gonna beat this level and it's be like the, the last. Here you go. Alrighty, so yeah, that's Lilo and Stitch Two. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully, this type of content is what people like. Uh, my thoughts about Lilo and Stitch Two: one of the best games I ever played. Um, yeah, sure, it's a licensed game, but it's honestly like some of the best. Something that I. What am I trying to say? It's it's one of the honestly, it's just one of the best games I could have ever had the pleasure of playing. And like I said, yeah, sure, it's a license game. Most people will pass. Most people will pass it by, but like, give this game a chance. It's honestly one of the best things you could you could play on the Game Boy Advance, and I am totally happy that I own it physically, so I could take it everywhere on the go with me. Anyway. Thank you everybody for watching, uh, if you like this type of content, please like, subscribe, and leave a little bit of a comment, if you liked it, like, leave a comment if you like this type of stuff, and comment down below what type of other game you want me to, to play, if you thought this video was good enough. Anyway, my name is Lovable, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.